Arenergy 200 watt portable solar panel assembly. Brand new. be about a 10 foot alligator clip uh, adapter for the panel wiring. Similar to my 100 watt setup, only of course bigger and heavier. One of the things I worry about, I've got back issues. I don't want to be hurting myself putting this thing up every day, especially in the wind. a little bit longer cables than on my 100 watt. So we're going to get some feedback. Point four volts. Getting feedback on it. Pretty good amount of amperage. I don't think I ever got more than four or five in there. 100 watt.
14.55 to the battery. Well, that's pretty good. My brand new Renogy 200 watt solar panel, portable, Voyager controller, $437 with tax included. Good deal all around. My 100 watts controller gave up the ghost. I sold the panel for 100 bucks to a guy that already had controller set up. So they're well worth it. I had the 100 watt for five years. Use it a lot. Camping out here and dispersed camping in the mountains. Great. Hey. Okay, back with you on the Renergy solar panel that I bought recently. It's the Renergy with a Voyager 20 amp actually the Traveler Series Voyager 20 amp controller. This was the unit that went out on my 100 watt panel but it also lasted five years so I don't really have anything to complain about. The controllers it still worked but the, there was a problem with the feedback on it and it tended to blow out fuses. <clears throat> Especially when you first hooked up the battery once you hit the negative lead, you'd get a short and you'd blow out a 10 amp fuse. So that became annoying. At any rate, somebody wanted to buy it, so I sold it to them, the unit. So I got this, kind of neat, little brochure they give you. Um, what I've been checking out now is the light system. They tell you there's a warning light and a load tables that they have for the unit. Pretty interesting. Uh, currently, my battery's being charged, everything is working, it's on and it's at 75% uh, full. So it's still going for a while till it's uh, up to capacity, but it really the the unit at 200 watts supposedly you lose about 30 or one third of your power uh, to different functions, the wire loss, the controller uh, loss, the functions that are occurring within the trailer with the battery so you get about 30 about 33 uh, percent reduction in your ability to produce that 200 watt power so I'm still getting right now 14.4 volts and uh, well over 10 amps of service charge going through that uh, controller into the battery so it's a pretty powerful unit much of course, twice as much as my other one. At any rate, uh, that's what I got. I got my warranty book in like five different languages. And, uh, and welcome and happy I bought it. I sent in my warranty information to their website. I bought it through Renogy as opposed to trying Amazon or eBay because I really hate Amazon and eBay. At any rate, thank you for watching.